when you think of gym, fitness, health, and getting strong, you think straight away of what supplement can I buy? There's some brilliant supplements out there and there's some not so good ones, which I'll avoid. However, in today's video, we're gonna go through a tier list. Everything from a god tier to, mm, why bother? On screen now you can see god tier. This is the, the cream of the crop, the strong evidence, and I will suggest this for almost everyone who watches this. Who is this, you ask? The gym goer who is just wanting a bit more bang out of the book for health, performance, and just want to take it to the next level. We have A which is great and consistent. I would maybe consider getting this. It's strong data, Evan suggests this. It's pretty good. We have B, okay, consistent data, yeah, not bad. We have C, okay, but reason X. And I'm gonna go through that in a bit because there's tons of reasons why supplements can be a good thing or a bad thing. And D is why bother? It needs either research and more, or there's none out there, it's enough, and I will not waste your money. Just before I start this video tier list as well, I need to say I am not an expert in supplementation. I am approaching this from as much evidence-based as I can. I'm trying to remove as much bias from myself as possible and pass experience. So you can get the honest answer from me. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna give you a discount code for my personal own coaching one-to-one -one and all online. This is a huge benefit, so keep watching and listen up for that magic word. So shall we begin? We have whey protein first. First on the list, it's widely available and it's great studies if you're gonna get stronger healthier, leaner. We need protein in our diets. It's a fundamental thing. I am gonna go with A, great and consistent. However, there is some obviously naff ones out there. So just trying to weed out what is good, what is bad, what is quality is something I'd recommend to do. Next, we have collagen on our list. Now, collagen is great for tendon repair recovery, joint, hair, skin, and nail health. We can get this if we eat bones, if we eat tendons and if we eat all the fish marine collagen and bones in the sea but we don't so getting it through supplementation is good it's not a replacement of whey protein there is research out there so suggest it and i will put this in the okay consistent next on my list is ashwagandha this was a nightmare to spell so listen up great data lately merging data i would put it in okay consistent data this is anyone for who's wanting to just get that extra endurance out of the training, also who wants to manage their cortisol levels, stress, anxiety. This one is in tablet form. So if you take a buttload of tablets, congrats, you're gonna take some more if you want this one. We have creatine monohydrate, the holy grail of supplementation, because you and I both know this is so, so much evidence to suggest that creatine monohydrate is good. It works for hypertrophy, strength, athleticism, and increasing performance, and even, even, even cognition as well. Yes, we can get cognitive benefits from this supplement. This studies out there. The reason why I've chosen creatine monohydrate is because that is the most widely researched one on the planet. If you're in doubt on whether to take this supplement because it might cause your weight gain, which it does. It gets intracellular in the muscle cells, hydrates them, makes them fuller, bigger, lean body mass is good. I'm gonna put this in a god tier because it deserves it. If you lift weights, if you wanna get stronger, this one is the way to go. Powder form, tablet form, five to 10 grams daily. Recommend powder in your oats, coffee, cereal, rice scoop if you need to. Let's not do that. Let's not be psychopaths. We value ourselves. We value our own psychological health. So let's not dry scoop creatine monohydrate, shall we? Moving on, we have alpha GCP. Now, this one can be seen to increase stamina, endurance, also uses a very strong cognitive supplement as well. A good focus, a good nootropic. Any pre record you see with a focus, this will have this in that single ingredient. I'm gonna put this in okay, but X. Again, this is researched and it has great benefits, purported benefits, but there are other things you can take as well that has the same effect and benefit. Also, there's tons of different factors what affects focus. If you have crap sleep, this will not make a difference. So if your sleep is crap and you're thinking, what can I get in to get more focus? Then sleep. So that is why it's in C a tier for me. Branch chain amino acids. The bro chain alpha nap. Branch amino acids. So BCAAs are, mm, for me, okay, but X. So 
Let me explain why. So BCAAs is found in meat and fish, etc., And it's what we can not produce in our body. But if your diet is rich in meats and has a wide variety of lean meats, fish, etc., then there's no point in taking these. But these contain the building blocks of muscle. So when we think about this, we want to put attention towards our diet first before we put the sprinkles on top of that cake. Base alanine. So beta alanine is used as sort of a lactic acid buffer and it's used for performance, increasing explosive activity. And it's when you feel when you tingle, tingle, tingle when you're tucking pre-workout and you feel like you want to claw your face off of your bones. Depends on, on obviously dosages, this can work really bloody well. However, if you have an excessive amount of this supplements, it can cause some mm, disruptions in bowel, gut, and you can feel quite bloated. Beta alanine get used if you're a strength athlete, if you're a bodybuilding athlete, if you want to increase your 5k running time. It can get used for a wide variety of people. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put it in great and consistent. ZMAs. This one initially was researched and I found that it increased testosterone when used alongside a resistance training and strength training program. However, they failed to replicate that result and they had their own patent as well. So it makes us wonder why can't they replicate that? So that's why for me, why bother? There's not much research out there. It's failed to replicate for me. I would not spend 20 to 30 pounds on a tub of ZMAs when you can do a ton of different things. Again, my opinion. Vitamin D. Now this one is a cracking supplement. It, yes, it works. We know it works. And there's a ton of data to suggest this. Personally, I'm going to go ahead and put this in great and consistent. You might be someone who gets a ton of daylight exposure. So your vitamin D levels might not necessarily be, well, needed to take supplementation. So this is a fat soluble vitamin and this can get stored in our fatty tissue. You can stack dose it. So for me, great and consistent. A multivitamin. Now, if you're going to buy a multivitamin, again, it's a reason. It's because you are an adult who doesn't like eating veggies and fruit for some reason. Yes, there's research out there to take this. If I had a category between these two, I would put it in there. Oh, this is hard. For me, why bother? Why bother taking a multivitamin? Why don't you instead have vegetables and fruits? You're going to get a ton of fire benefits. You're going to get a rich in antioxidants, a wide range of vitamins and other minerals as well. And... Again, in any excess, if you take like four load of multivitamins expecting to be the world's healthiest human, then you'll just excrete any other vitamins that your body builds of an excess of, and you'll be thinking that you're dying because you're peeing like an alien. Citrulline malate. This one is used as a nitric oxide booster, a vasodilator. Gets used for great pumps. If you're a dream bro, Bro, you just want to bro so hard everywhere. You're training chest and biceps and triceps every day and you want the sweetest pumps, then citrulline Maui could be a good supplement for you. Yeah, I would say okay and consistent. So before I get my last one on the board, I did say in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna say a little secret word to give you a discount code for my coaching. So that little code right there is WARD10. That's gonna give you 10% off my online coaching. You can get it by clicking the link in the description and using it for the checkout. So omega 3, 6, and 9. This one is a nutraceutical. This one is used if your diet isn't really rich in fish or oily fish or oils in a particular fashion. Yes, it has great benefits on strength, weight loss, cardiovascular health, brain health, and immune function as well. Yes, there's great and consistent data out there. It's something that you would have in a day-to-day -day life if, unless you have a buttload of fish in your diet. So for me, that's going to be in great and consistent in here. So I had one more that's not on my list because I didn't think it would throw it off, but it did. And that would be superfood and greens supplementation. This is the thing you see all over TikTok, Instagram and X, Y and Z because it's really good for you and it'll help you lose weight. And yes, it has a buttload of nutrients and buttload of vitamins in. No, it doesn't taste nice. But I'm going to leave that one up to the people. Comment below. Supplements are a sprinkle on top. And if you need to address other things in your life first, such as your sleep, steps per day, or such as your hydration, your food intake, or nutrient intake, and everything else in between, if you're nailing every one of them, then great, good. Supplementation will be quite good for you. If you're not quite nailing them, then I would concentrate on them first because why would you want to take a buttload of supplements which cost money when you could see the better benefits if you did the 
things which you're supposed to do for optimum health. So if you liked this video, ladies and gents, give it a like. And if you haven't already, click that little bell below, ding -a ling -a ling and I will see you in the next video.